Okay, well, we're gonna get this started a little earlier today. Apparently, I hit the wrong setting on the thing. <laughs> Gotta adjust the camera every morning. So weird. Okay, so yeah. Hey, hey guys, <clears throat> happy splasher here. Good morning. Uh, we are going to do some wish shop and some dark tower. So let's get right into that. Here we go. All right, so we got the symbol over here. This is the wish shop or the wheel, if you want. And as you see here, we have a couple of selections available. We are currently in League 3, so because of that, we can get up to three wishes. And since we actually have all the heroes this time, we are going to wish for things that we are going to use in our League squad. So let's actually check out what we do need. We're also going to pick heroes that are potentially not going to get nerfed, so... Just from uh, in-game chat and Discord, I'm hearing that potentially Masora, Grace of Rockfleet, and Shimuna are going to be nerfed. So we want to pick heroes that are event heroes and not heroes you can get from specifically League. So in this case, it's not going to be Deadlord. Probably can ask for some more York, even though it's pretty high already. I uh, can probably get some more uh, Discordia. And then also some Yoster over here. So we're going to close that out, go to the wish shop here. Also, we have to see if they are available. So you'll see a couple of these heroes are already locked out, which means that we got them on the previous wish shop. So panned over here, sorted by their factions. This one's on chaos. Okay. So in this case, let's wish for our Discordia as number one. Okay, you can also see which one of the heroes that they are. You can click on the info button and then see their skills. So in case you do want to, uh, you know, plan for that. So let's see. So can't get a Yoster. Guess we got Groot already. Kind of don't want more Groot, but again, it is in the league deck, so might as well. And then the third one would be good for later on. Sora is potentially going to be nerfed. Uh, some more Dead Lord. Hmm. And Lotricus isn't bad, but yeah, we're going to continue and add for stuff in our squad. So these are the three that we're going to get. Uh, there is a good article on the Wikipedia article. Uh, good article in the Mighty Party Wiki. And then you can also look for recommendations in the Discord for Wish Shop. But yeah, since uh, we already have these heroes, that is okay. So we will confirm. You won't be able to change your decision. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll open our free chest. Each one you can get every 24 hours. And throughout Wish Shop happening for the next couple of days, you can probably get two or three. You do have the option to buy more Wish Shop chests. I do not recommend that because they have rewards that aren't as good. As the legendaries, you can see here you have some guild contribution, have some gems, elixir, and they actually tell you the other breakdown. So, okay, so there's no dust. So elixir, guild contribution, <coughs> excuse me, and then gems, and so that's why you don't want to spend on this. So, timer's over here. We'll open in 24 hours, so we'll check back in on that tomorrow. Okay, so now we are going to do some dark tower. Okay, currently we have two attempts and we got one win since yesterday. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but okay, yeah, let us get it in here and we'll start it off. Okay, we already see we got the ogre pet that we're facing, uh, the ogre warlord, and then we have the sentry pet over here. Sentry is the one that gives an attack boost when the hero comes into play, end of turn, and then also whenever a ranged ally kills something on their side. Okay, so we got this hero here, attacks, deals damage to uh, his attack to enemies on the target, also gets an attack boost. I think we can give our own attack boost over here. Yes, okay. So I guess we're going to be trading, we'll spend a little bit of dust in order to get that done so you can see the attack boost given so now it has enough attack place it over here in c1 so if it does stay alive we can place another hero in front of it to give it some protection uh, but for now and i have to get back the board especially since they did go first 
Take a look at their buildings. Plus health. Got some plus attack. Oh. There's a big problem over here. Okay, so we got this here that freezes any hero that's not chaos and not a building for a turn, and then also gives plus health. Uh, since they do have their silence skill on the ogre, we're going to summon heroes with high health or high attack, so that when the silence does occur, it's not going to ruin their stats. So for the time being, guard the bottom for now. Yeah! And as you see, because it's not a Chaos Hero, it is frozen for the turn. Okay, they end up freezing their own heroes as well. They do get this damage skill whenever they attack, will damage to non-water heroes. So in this case, one, two, three, four, all those potentially. Those over there. I guess they might go silence because this hero, when it dies, it deals damage to a female hero. Gonna summon our immune hero over here and i guess we can take the damage it's all right yeah so we'll summon her over here in uh lane b don't want to get this hero damage quite yet and might have to draw out the silence by summoning another hero here Okay, so we'll find out. We'll do our summon. We're not going to use our destruction skill because we can't get rid of this hero. We'll summon this hero over here just to block. And we'll get frozen again. At the end of the turn, both of these heroes will deal damage. In this case now, if they do do the silence, we'll still have this hero with immunity. Okay. Let's see. And damage can still occur to their heroes. So in this case, well, it's this one, this one. These are both order, so they won't take damage. As you can see, the damage end up destroying their own heroes. And this is probably good enough to get rid of. Yeah, it's pretty imbalanced. So we might regret getting rid of these heroes now because we won't have our destruction skill for later for when the stones come out, but we're gonna have to do our thing in order to get the board back. Okay, we got this hero here with the high health. It also deals a little bit of damage when it attacks. We got this hero here that deals these damage runes. Uh, sure, why not? We'll place this range hero behind here. Uh oh, kind of do want to go for it. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, we'll force them to attack the panda over here so that way we can get the damage ruined. Okay, so these are the stones that we were talking about. Worst case scenario, they summon a range hero behind one of these that we can't get rid of, and then. I guess we lose if <laughs> that's the case. Uh, so, well. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be bad. So this hero here, whenever it attacks, uh, before one of our heroes attacks, it'll give plus health to their hero. So I'll also include these buildings over here. So we do want to get rid of this as soon as possible. Uh, this hero here that can create extra spawns. We have this hero that can protect itself. I don't want to break this early, so let's see. Uh, probably better with the extra spawns, so we'll do that. So I'm gonna range hero behind the panda again, so we can draw out some damage. Okay, I can see the loss summons the plant to attack. And because this floss is actually a level one after a reborn, our plants aren't gonna be that big. But again, for now, we're just using them as blockers, breaking the shield of the dark over here, and then also using it as a blocker on this lane. So our goal right now is actually to get rid of this dark, so that way the other heroes won't get the boosts. Uh, this hero, when it dies, does poison damage. Okay. And right, we'll do our summons now. Like I said, we do need attackers to get rid of this dark. Okay, so that's good. So that'll be destroyed. Come it over there. Uh, this one will be fine. So this hero actually freezes a hero at the end of the turn. In that case, it'll be this one here. Don't need to give this line protection as these heroes will die at the beginning of the next turn. So for now, we'll summon this over here so that way we can get some protection with another set of heroes. 
So you can see the health boost still happening. Okay, got rid of the dark. Poison the stone with the planty over here. Okay, our next goal is to get rid of this hero as we don't want any floating heroes on the board because of the sentry pet. And then also from previous videos, leaving even a single hero on the board could result in a comeback. Okay, so we have this hero here. Whenever it's attacked, it will deal damage to enemies in the line. It will also heal itself as well. So this one will trigger first, deal some damage. So this will actually bring back to full health for the attack. This one will come in. This will actually destroy that over there. Uh, I suppose... Uh, no, well, so the damage is based upon the skill and not their actual attack. Uh, we can also summon another one of these flosses. Let me see how much our damage is for Tesla X. Eh, that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, we'll summon the Tesla X over here to actually defend this hero. Comes into play and deals damage based upon number of heroes that are on the board. You can see the vampire damage right there. Vampire damage again, and again with the attack boosts. Okay, and then we have our freeze once again. So this is going to be destroyed in combat. Most likely another ranged hero will come out and attack this. We are getting some attack boost because of the skill over here. May or may not be enough. Our board's kind of vulnerable, especially with the low health of this ranged hero, and then also the low attack over here. Okay, so vampirism will actually destroy both of these heroes, unfortunately. Found that over there. Got this hero over here that whenever uh, the warlord is attacked, we'll swap the attack. Uh, hey, I'm Gar. Uh, yeah, how you doing? The uh, what did I choose in Wish Shop? I chose Discordia. I chose. Oh boy, we can we can check it out after. <laughs> I already I already forgot. What did I choose? I chose Discordia. I chose. Yeah, we'll just see it after. I chose heroes that are in my league squad. So in that case, yeah, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, since I already have all the heroes, I ended up choosing heroes that I'm going to use for battles rather than uh, in Dark Tower or in Pit. Because with Dark Tower or Pit, you can just use gems towards the end in order to get the legendary chest. Provided it might be a lot more battles, but it's all right. I mean, those League heroes I'm going to be using a lot more often anyways. All right, so we have the attacks boost happening. Uh, our panda is now gone and also our floss. This will be destroyed in combat. This will die by poison. Actually, no, this will die in combat too. It does have block, so 24, 30. I got grace and some other on the first spin. I got the other one now and I and and I now I'm scared. But when you say scared, I'm scared of what in part or particular. Uh, are, you, are you talking about maybe the choices you, you made or are, are not going to help out? Are you talking about how some of them might be nerfed? Not, not really sure what you mean by uh, you are scared. But I'm, it, assuming even if the nerfs don't happen, if you're getting heroes that are useful to you, I would it, I'd be fine with that. Okay, you can also change your heroes as well. So in case... Yeah, as long as you don't lock in your, your choice, you are fine. Ooh, probably could have went for a blocker here. We're going to take a lot of damage over here, assuming they don't get double attack. Our Tesla X is still going to protect us if we have two more heroes that are just... Or actually, I guess three more, just to be safe. We summon this hero because it has a death trigger, so whenever it dies, it deals damage to a wounded hero. In this case, potentially this one here. Okay, we got the Mr. Flap here for protection, and with no death triggers on the board other than here, we should be good. I'm the melee here just to be safe. When you say you got the other one, what is the other hero you're you're talking about? Epic. I'll be alright. 
Okay, you're gonna head into battle. Yeah, if, Omkar, if you tell me which hero you're talking about, then then I can uh, tell you a little bit more about it. <laughs> okay, uh, so they have the Jimmy Rocker Boy with the block runes, the splash ranged heroes. They also, again, have the, another sentry pet. Uh, the knight who has the ability to give shock when attacked. Oh, uh, Sir Lancelot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is... He's okay. The One of the big things against him is that the since he is a male hero, he can get silenced by Yoster. And Yoster does get played quite often. The reflect damage is good if you're running any one of the Trixie heroes. Uh, Trixie Warlords. So Spider Queen, Trixie... Is there... Uh, Geisha as well, yeah. Uh, let's see, what's going to make sense? Uh, we're going to go for block, because these heroes are going to be kind of big. Probably going to lose this one, but we'll again, we will go for block. So some of this hero uh, here in this building, so whenever one of their heroes dies, whenever the enemy dies, we'll get Metal Shield to one of our heroes, and then if any one of our heroes dies, we'll also deal damage to their warlord. Yeah, you can set up your squad in certain ways once you have the Lancelot. Normally, when he comes into play, you just summon him on the bottom row, and that way that you can get all your heroes being attacked. And then also, you can place him behind a building as well, so then you give your heroes block. So your heroes will then get block to take some more damage, and then also reflect damage. He has got, but Grace is better. Yeah, Grace is way, way. Better. He's yeah, he is good. Yeah, Grace has just a lot more. I mean, you can start first with Grace. You can also start second with Grace. And she's actually better if you start second because then you can start wiping out heroes on their side of the board. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, this hero here dies. He has metal shield. I guess we can go metal shield all the way. Probably want to go some form of protection. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Summon our flight hero over here with the high health. He's supposed to give reborn to a chaos hero, which I guess we could have done our summon early, but we do want to draw out those rocker boys first, because that is the main threat for this warlord. The pretty much the burst damage when they come into play. And then also this skill here happens if well, if you actually live that long. It does become a problem, especially since our building does count as one of those heroes to be destroyed. But hopefully we can play around that. Okay, so we got this hero here that has the mental shield. Uh, okay, so whenever a hero dies on their side, they get mental shield. We're going to give it some protection. Yeah, we'll summon our Yoster. These are all pretty good heroes right now. This one can deal some damage with the Tesla X. This one can deal some reflect damage. This one dies and can kill other heroes. But for this one, we're going to summon our Yoster over here. I guess worst case scenario, they could go Blair. Uh, yeah. What's up, Mercury? Trying to combat against some plays in the future that could happen. Because if they go Blair, then the health of this would be set to five, and then this could this hero could actually attack and destroy this. Okay, so they summon the Rocker Boys, which is what we wanted. Let's see. Combat will destroy this. Take some splash damage to our hero here because of the rocker boy. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa! All right, so we got damage over there. Okay, we got our... Oh boy, these are actually gonna heal up. Is not what we wanted. Okay, so they summon the hoodoo here with the totem. This totem here gives health back to their heroes whenever another hero is destroyed. So we will need to block at least one more turn. Summon our vampire over here. And. Oh boy, let's see. Block her over there. Hmm. Let's see, damage, damage. The only problem is this hero here is going to have enough attack to destroy this. And even if we go block, we don't know how strong the next hero is going to be. Probably could have summoned this a turn earlier. Give some protection. Let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do our destruction now. We'll also summon this hero that has setting the attack of other heroes to one. Okay, we do get a health boost at the end from our Yoster. And for now, I guess we're just going to tank damage. Yeah, if that hoodoo... If the Hoodoo didn't come up with the totem, then we could have wounded and destroyed all of these heroes. But for now, we're going to have to take these. Uh, well, this hero is going to be alive. Combat over here. Combat here. Potentially, our building is destroyed. Okay, Splash will actually destroy this over here. And so we ha still have our damage at the beginning of the turn. As you can see the Mental Shield over there. Uh, block still over here. Place our building over here to block. We're also keeping it away from the Yoster so that we don't take splash damage off of the next hero. Uh, what is my Warlord ability? So I have three skills. So the first one is summon an Arch Vampire over here. This Arch Vampire has Vampirism and then also deals damage at the end of the turn and heals itself. The second skill is to destroy all wounded heroes on their side of the field. And then the third skill is to summon these ranged heroes that die at the they die at the uh, beginning of the next turn. And so I do want to destroy this building as so okay, it's also has a it's also on the block room too, so that doesn't help. So let's see, combat, combat. Ugh, we won't have to we won't be able to destroy it anyways. Both of these block rooms, yeah, those are big issues. Uh how much damage is our building? This building deal. It deals 34 at the end. Let's see. So this will be here. Copy that. Oh, this hero deals, de deals damage to melee. I just don't know how the damage is going to happen first. So I guess, do we... Hmm. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, so we'll summon this melee hero over here. Yeah, we'll, find we'll attack. Oh. Okay, that's good. So the attack did go through to break the the mental shield, and then the skill over here to deal damage to melee heroes. So at least this is destroyed. Our Yoster is going to be destroyed next turn because of the building damage over here. So I guess it's good right now that we also summon a melee hero so that we can defend against this third skill to set the health to one. Okay, so let's see. Building's still alive. This will be here. We're going to freeze this hero with our ranged hero here. At the end of the turn, it freezes one of their heroes. And then we'll also place it behind this hero here because it also gets spikes. Okay, the Mother Owl over here has a summon at the beginning of the turn. And then also you can see the negative attack to us and then the plus attack to their heroes whenever another hero comes into play. Oh, wow. Okay, our building is also destroyed because they did set the health of our heroes down to one. Okay, our freeze hero is now gone. Guess we'll do our summons. And are these on block rooms? These are not. Are these? Nope. And is this one? Also not. Okay. So we just need to find a way to get the board back here. We don't have an extra attack boost over there. Uh, just need to block for damage. Combat, combat. Need for splash. Okay, let's see. But not quite enough to destroy those. We are running low on health. Potentially over there. Hmm. I'm going to summon our melee hero actually over here. Deal some splash damage. Okay, go through some of the block over here. Okay, you got the owl coming in. So we could potentially take lethal if they summon another hero over here and then the attack over here. Now, this has been a battle where buildings have come into play. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, so we got the leader Nilin. This one summons these rotters at the end of the turn, and then it will deal damage whenever they die. And see, each one of them is also giving these heroes an attack boost as well. Alright, so let's see combat over there. Still won't be able to attack. Don't think we're going to make through this one just because we don't have any more attackers on the board. Could still get rid of this build. <clears throat> excuse me, get rid of this building, but then attack over here, attack over there. Uh, yeah, I guess this would, this could be okay. Although again, we can't block anything over here, so unfortunately, we are going to take the loss. Okay, we got some health back off of our. Matriarch with the splash against the rotters. Could potentially get rid of this here. If we summon a range, they destroy our Yona. Uh, they could summon another hero here and deal a lot of damage. Not really in a good spot because we don't have our destruction skills anymore. And we don't have our summons anymore. So let's see. Combat, combat. It's here when it dies, it summons uh, some of the tombstone in front of itself. Okay, so let's see. So destroy that. Uh, some of this hero here. Just for block. Also freezes a hero at the end of the turn. Okay, we did get rid of the mother owl, so that's good. Only issue now is that they have these extra attack runes for when we attack this Grim Warden here. So the only other way we can get through this is if we summon Alexandria. Because that would remove negative effects. Here. Uh, let's see. Got this hero here with the extra attack. Yeah, this could work. Yeah. We're going to summon our panda over here. Give us some attack boost for every wounded hero on their side of the field. And help these out a little bit. And then also give this hero some protection so that we can still get the freeze effect. Okay, so we got this hero here that destroys runes and pentagrams on their side and then also gets an attack boost for every cell at the end. So I'll actually get rid of these cells over here. But again, it still has extra attack and then we also still have to deal with the Necro Lich. Great. Okay, so they now have protection with the Rotters over here. Double attack over here, damage over here. Eh, could potentially stall out. Again, I don't I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll do what we can. So let's see. It'd have to be something like we draw the freeze over here. We also destroy this hero. This will be destroyed in combat. Eh, we'll summon the range hero over here. Still getting some health back over here. We did not freeze this hero, so unfortunately we will take a loss now because of the extra attack. So there's really no way around that particular battle, especially since they did have all those block runes. Again, if that hoodoo did not come in, in the very beginning, we would have had our Yoster around, and then we would still be able to deal damage. So all right, we will do one more battle and see how far we can take this. Okay, uh, we're facing Ulko first. They have the Silent Stones in the heal. They have the Gleedy Pet that gives health boost to their heroes. And then also the health boost to the Warlord whenever a melee hero kills. I have the Mental Shield building over here. No skill on here. Block. And then also damage over here. Not a lot of heroes with high attack or health this time. I guess we can go either one of these heroes are, are fine. This one gets a health boost whenever it kills something. And then this one here also gets the attack baron prism over here. This one is going to be okay. 
we can place it behind here just a little bit of protection. So we'll do that for now. And I would rather give our hero some protection than summon the stronger hero, just because if we summon the melee hero, it will be in line for damage. And we don't know how strong their heroes are going to be, although I have faced Elko before. With higher health, that usually means that they are going to have stronger heroes. Alright, so we got this hero here, high health, and when it dies, it sets the health of two of our heroes to one. Also gets an attack boost as well. Gonna destroy this building because this hero here can cause some problems later on. We have this hero that deals damage equal to the attack behind the target. We'll summon it here in B2. We can also give this hero some protection. Okay, we also have our wise owl giving negative attack at the end of the turn. Potentially this could stay alive. But that is not the case. We have this hero here that does the attack steal at the end of the turn with the skill and then we'll freeze one of our heroes. This hero has pierce. I want to see that. Okay. We have this hero here that deals the damage equal to the health of one of their heroes. So potentially we could deal, at the very minimum, we're going to deal 60 damage to both of these heroes. And potentially we could actually wipe out this one here. So we'll go for the large summon. Also, this has decent health. So we'll summon here again in B2. Okay, we did the minimum damage. Which is not what we wanted. But we still have our blocker for now. And if they do do silence, then that's probably best case scenario for us. So now we have these heroes over here. Uh, this hero here gives extra attack to two of their melee heroes. So in this case, it'd be this one over here. Uh, and destroy this. Our vampirism is just underneath the amount of damage that we need to do in order to destroy this. Uh, but what we can do, we'll summon our vampire anyways. We'll have to destroy at least one of these heroes, especially this hero here with the extra attack we're not going to do our destruction skill quite yet as we can still take the damage the combat combat okay we're going to try and kill both of these heroes at the same time so we'll summon this melee hero over here okay, so we actually did do it so we had our building damage deal the damage over here we had our vampire deal damage at the end of the turn so destroyed the melee hero and then also wounded this hero and then setting the health of these two heroes to one because of the death trigger over here. Our board's kind of in balance. They could summon another hero to destroy this. And then we still have our heroes with the one attack. Or one health, rather. Okay, once again, we have the hero with the giving the extra attack to their melee heroes really do want to draw out a silence if we can which we probably can do with our next hero here does that have spikes no it does not okay no combat combat could do silence over there now we'll summon our flight hero over here when it dies it, it freezes one of their heroes again this is also a good silence trigger for them to do because this hero cannot attack this hero Okay, so that's half of the battle. We just need to survive the next couple of turns, draw out the stones, and then go for some damage to the Warlord. And depending upon what they summon this turn, we may use our destruction to get the board back. Okay, so this hero gives bleeding two heroes in the line. Still our extra attack over there. Yeah, do some combat over there, freeze those. This hero has reworn, so that's going to be an issue. I guess we could take some more damage. Freeze over here. This hero, when it attacks, it, free it gives health back to our warlord. Uh, being what we 
destroy that. Come right over there. Eh, we'll go for the bigger play instead. We'll do our destruction. Now, this hero already has bleeding anyways, so it is going to die. Uh, we're going to summon our ranged hero over here. Freezes one of their heroes whenever we attack the warlord. And then we'll deal some damage at the beginning of the turn with the attack of our hero. Oh, so here are the stones. Uh, another thing, too, is that it does steal attack from frozen heroes. In this case, this hero is no longer a problem until it gets reborn, and then also if it gets an attack boost as well. So we have this hero here that removes the negative effects, so now this hero has the attack boost ready. We do need to break through these stones to activate our skill, so we'll do that. Let's see, let me see if there's any other stats on this. So let's see, bleeding, bleeding. Okay, we have this hero that when it dies, it deals damage to a female hero. All right, we'll do our summons. <laughs> We don't mind giving bleeding to these anyways because they will die. So it's just a matter of how much more damage we can do. So when this comes back, it deals 100. There, come at there. Oh, but then we'll be able to freeze this. So that that's fine. Okay, One, two, three, four, five. Combat. Okay, and we'll summon this hero. It gets an attack boost for every hero around it. So we'll give them some health back, which is fine. Come out over here. The bleeding gives on these heroes. Attack. Oh wow, okay. What? I thought we had enough damage to go through here. It said 100, and this one's 112. Our goal was to freeze this hero, but now can't do that anymore. Maybe we just didn't have enough attack on this hero. This is 97. Oh, right, okay, so that's probably why. All right, yeah, so we probably we probably should have given this another attack boost. So they are going to take some damage over here. This hero gives spikes to another hero whenever we attack. Uh, let's see. We have this hero over here that is bleeding. I could do some damage. That would be fine. Break through on those. Freeze two heroes. Just really, I really don't want to deal damage to this hero, but... Got to go for the more offensive, so we'll do that. So we will summon our Bastet on a 2. Deal some damage to heroes, get some health back off of the kills. Also deal some damage here, and then start freezing their heroes. Okay, the Life Palace summoned from the Alexandria will heal their Warlord when it first comes on play, and then also heals their allies at the beginning of the turn, also along with their Warlord. Okay, look at that poison damage. All right, so pretty much our setup is now ruined because of the poison damage from the Melia over here. I uh, don't have enough damage to destroy that, and don't have enough damage to destroy this. Again, this is where all the uh, saving the destruction skills for when the stones are out, so that way we can actually destroy stuff. So let's see. I suppose we could freeze it again. This hero with the poison damage is going to start eating up our board. So, let us... well, let's see how we can get rid of this hero. Okay, so we got the freeze at the end of the turn. We got the life palace giving health back to their heroes at the beginning. This will be destroyed by poison, and so we are now stuck because of these stones over here. Even though we do have the high health, we're going to be taking at least 300 damage this turn. Poison here, we'll trigger that off. Okay. Come over there and get some health back off of our melee kill. Okay, but again, uh, they have the hero here with the poison damage. They also have this hero here will freeze one of our heroes. So, see if we can come back with one other turn, but otherwise, this is not looking good. Hey, hey, hey. 
Okay, some additional heroes over here. Okay, we'll summon our melee hero over here to block and then also deal some extra vampirism damage. Okay, as you see, that life palace is starting to add up now because their heroes have healed for about 100 100 ish damage. So let's see, combat over here. Poison will destroy this. We still have our range hero over here. Yeah, okay, so that actually is going to be lethal here. So we did have a little bit of a comeback in around turn six or seven, but again, with our Vixen being destroyed and then also the Melia coming out and uh, getting rid of our Bastet as well, couldn't really get around that. Okay, well, we'll check back in, uh, I guess, tomorrow, since we'll have some more attempts for that. So a quick recap of today's stream. Whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot. They also have those uh, deals coming up. So they have these, I guess they're Black Friday deals. You can see in the deal section over here. So they have the Black Friday ones that are over here. And it depends upon which league you're in. So again, we are in League 3 and they gave us this tiering of stuff. So they have the Old God, they have the Tani, and then they have the Am Amaterasu over here on Black Friday. I believe it's a... Oh, it's not the same here. Okay. They give you these Demigod scrolls and... Oh, they have the Ancient scrolls over here. But... I would hold off on these. It's random as to what you get. You do get some VIP contribution, but again, if you're if you're not spending a lot anyways, it, it, the VIP really needs to add up for you to get the most value out of it. So we did some wish shop. Uh, Amkar, these are the heroes that I wish for. So Discordia over here because of the extra attack. The Groot over here because of the silence. This helps out a lot in League against certain heroes that you need to get rid of immediately and then we have the york here that when it comes into play deals damage and then also has reborn so it stays as another blocker on the field so we did that and then we also did some dark tower looks like we only got one win out of the three attempts today or three battles that we did so we'll have some more battles tomorrow on let's see so one two yeah, yeah. okay yeah actually we will have all three attempts for tomorrow so that's cool yeah, so for tomorrow's stream, oh, this that does need to be updated. <laughs> yeah, so for tomorrow's stream, we're going to be doing some journey again on the Sad Boy account. And also we are going to do some more Dark Tower battles over here. So yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, or concerns, leave them on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The content streaming schedule is actually down underneath. Still need to, I forgot to change that this morning. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, you can see the videos on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.